It didn't go like there. It is. Voila! Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hey, I'm here in late night land. How is everybody doing? We hope that you guys are hopefully tucked slumberly into your bed, um, slumbering. If not, we not hope you're what? here joining us with our insomnia issues. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys all doing tonight? Good. Good. I'm good. good. It's still hot over here, though, and I don't like. Are you hot? Yes, I am. Yeah. It is. It is. Well, it's cooling it's down now. Hot. Just now, it's starting to cool down. But yeah. it was here today. It was well, 65 right now. Uh, but it was in, in the, the 80s today. Uh, it it's hit really here. cold here and in the 40s. And by Saturday, it's supposed to be like 67, 68. So woo! Yeah. Up here, in my neck of the woods, it got up to about 88 today. Damn. Without the heat index, though, right? Yeah. See, and y'all remember, we don't have the air conditioning over here. So oh, I know. We don't have a lot of air conditioners. <laughs> so it's hot. It's hot. Well, then I won't live there. <laughs> That's how they get you. Nope. you know, we're supposed nope. to have nope. to I need never, ever here. live in anywhere without central air ever again. Nope. Not doing it. Well, they not say, well, like in San Diego, you don't need it. You really don't. There's like, Maybe oh, a, I do. a, a three I week do. period that is just uh, unbearable. Um, See, and I, 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 I have to have it for just that three weeks then. The cost of that is outrageous. I it's all right. My husband will pay it because the cost of a happy wife is better than the cost of an electric yep. bill. That's I live I live in the high desert and, it's, and yeah. there's no in between here. It's either hot or cold. Or cold, yeah. And right That's now desert, it's desert hot. life for you. Desert life. Yeah. All right. So so just to clarify to everybody, the stream that was advertised in Mary's stream tonight is this. You've come to the right place if you found us. Yes. yes. We haven't even said what we're doing. I mean, I know they probably saw the title, but yes. Um, we, are, we are going to commence with Coven on Friday. Um, so tonight for Thursday, for Thirsty Thursday. We have a horror yep. mystery box for you guys. Horror mystery boxes for you guys. Um, yes. I have about 10 packages right here that we're going to open up. We're going to see what's inside. And we're going to drool and oogle over all this stuff. And <laughs> bum, 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 here is the catch. You're going to send it inside all to me. Inside one of these packages is a supposedly haunted item that i ordered oh, hell no Ooh. we better not send so me we, no juju we will see we will oh, see I, 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 I don't need no juju no wonder you no wonder we put haunted in the title now i know why mm -hmm. surprise yeah all of us surprise. our eyes are gonna start bleeding she um, pulled a, she pulled a fucking annabelle doll out we're all gonna go crazy <laughs> <laughs> well you know you know the original annabelle doll was not the way they make her look, the original oh, animal like doll, doll. Yeah, and I have animal. I have mine up on my shelf in my office with my collection. Oh hell no! Yep. An uh -huh. original, original, old school Raggedy Ann doll. No, that's just too crazy for I me. Have, I, I have house. Andy too. I have Raggedy oh. Andy too to go with her. Oh, well, if it's Raggedy Andy, cool. and Andy as, as a pair, then that's okay. But if you're sitting oh, up they're like not Annabelle, together. they're not together. They're having issues at the moment, so they're separated. She doesn't um, play exactly. well with him. The only she dolls I have is my catch pet dolls. They're hanging out of there. Oh, so I will let you guys know when we get to our haunted mystery item. Um, but right. in the meantime, here we let's go. Get, let's get started. Let's dive in. Let's Here's a little box, not very big at all, just a little bitty box. And it actually looked like a box somebody cut and stuck together to make a smaller box. Uh-huh. Ooh. Nice. I don't need paper. Because I can't <laughs> return it because at this Wait, point it's sure, over a year old. Are you sure there's nothing in it? Because sometimes they wrap stuff in it. Just remember that. No, no there's it's something in, in it. Let's send you an empty box. All right. Let's see what we have. Shady shit. Oh, could this be our haunted item? I'm leaving. No, it's not. Uh, Who is that? Um, Where are we at? There we go. Oh, it's Reagan. Reagan? Wait. 
Cute little action that figure. pea soup, pea soup all over her pretty yellow dress. What company is that? Say the action yep. company. Um, this is the Loyal Subjects. Loyal well, Subjects, they're great. They're at Comic Con every year. They're action, uh, action vinyl. vinyl. Yeah, they're small it's independent. Hot, Japanese, hot uh, topic vinyl. exclusive. Hot topic yeah. exclusive. Yes, they're a little. They're uh, they're like Funko. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. You got Kid Robot. You got Loyal Subjects. Funko. Okay, so Iron Man. Yeah, the box is trying to eat me. All right, so now oh, we no. have this box. It's a toner it? cartridge. <gasps> I need no. some. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me get closer. I want to get you guys closer because I feel yeah, like you're blurry. Okay, there we go. So I can't see. What it is, is it? not a toner cartridge. Oh, you have no one here. The open paper. Don't need it. Paper. Nope. Oh, it looks like we have some Funkos. Ooh. All right, from Star Wars Rogue oh, One, director uh -huh. Orson Krennic. Oh, Krennic, the bad guy. Is that? I don't know. Bad guy. I bought yep. it to make yep. a custom pop. Oh. Yeah, I bought yeah, it. I bought it for. I bought it in a penny auction, so I just oh. paid three bucks shipping. Yep. Sweet. Remember and the, it's in mint condition. Well, remember the the Star Wars ones are bobbleheads. Are they? Oh yeah. yeah I, bobblehead. I yeah. didn't know that. That actually is interesting because I might purposely seek out more of those then for my customs. Star Wars are bobbleheads, and I believe the Marvel ones are bobbleheads as well. Let me look. All right, and now we have. DJ from Star Wars, a GameStop only. Oh, you, you paid a penny for that? I did. I don't know who it is. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna erase him. Character. I'm going to erase him and make someone new, so it's okay. Nice. Del Toro's character from Last Jedi. Oh, okay. Oh, let me see if these are Marvel hits. Yes, I believe the Marvel ones yeah, are Marvel heads. Both, well, both of these ones, both of these are Marvel heads. Yeah, hold on. Let me look at the other ones. Oh, yes. Marvels are bobbleheads as well. So Star Wars and Marvel. Marvel. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, bobbleheads. Yay! All right, we have a package. I was okay. going to say that looks like a bubble mailer, but not really. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's just like a, one of the paper mailers not the bubble yeah. ones like like a brown paper bag type of thing right oh all right we have a sweater a hoodie there's a hoodie huh? and okay. mystery is what does it say <gasps> all right uh -oh. Uh -oh. don't let that gonna flip. Flip. she's gonna flip she might have one coming so it's okay there you go <laughs> Nice. And and it looks big and comfy, which is nice. It's still really yeah. soft. It's not stiff. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see here. All right. We have another paper mailer. Mm -hmm. Some clothing. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. oh, sweet. Oh, and this God. one, look, Dawn, it's yeah. torrid. It's torrid. This one will actually fit me. Hey. It's a there women's fitted shirt that will fit me that's American Horror Story. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, because usually yeah. they don't. Yeah, not the women's. Not the women. I have to get men's. Me too. Yep. It's, it's BS. I you have, have to do that all the time and with clothes in general because they act like Women and men's sizes are so different. A medium on a woman is, or no, an extra large on a woman is a medium on a man. I know. What? Michael, what do it. What? Do what? It's, it's <laughs> the WTF. There you go. There you um, go. With, like with American Horror Story shirts and stuff like that, I have to see them in person. I have to feel them because if they're not the thin shirt, I won't wear them. 
Well, and then you've got to worry about all the knockoffs that are coming from China. Yep. That the yeah. materials, like you said, rough and Harder. scratchy. Yeah. It doesn't fit. They're small as yep. heck. Yep. Like yeah. you order an extra large and it's like this big. It's like a kid's extra yeah. large or a baby yeah. extra large. And then they peel off like, all the, the crap. Yeah, it. the stuff peels off. This one's a genuine AHS. Brand. I usually get all of my shirts from Hot Topic or I make them from Redbubble because I know the material I'm getting from both of those stores. I'm going to make some of my own because then I know I get the shirt that I want, the fit that I want. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I want to start doing sayings that aren't on shirts, but they're like famous lines from the show. Since yeah. we've been going over the lines and stuff, I've been thinking more about it. Like the Jessica Lang, you know, in Asylum, I, I'm the goddamn queen of Candyland, you know, like yeah. right there. Like, I love that. All right. Box. It's a box. It's, a box. it's not too big. And it's not Amazon. Amazon. That's an Amazon box, but chances no. are that didn't come from Amazon. No, I can tell you, it. Can, I, I don't really order from Amazon. This I came, used to. Now I don't. I used to order everything from Amazon. Now I order nothing. This came from either Mercari or eBay. Because Amazon doesn't do shipping anymore. It's like our our next day shipping is now like a week, two weeks. Well, that's because of everything that's going on right now. I, know. I, I don't think they'll go back, though. I think the days of next um, day shipping for Amazon is all over. All right. All right. We got some Blu-rays. Hey. Ooh. Hey, score. All right. We have... Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Oh, God, what's that famous hey. line? Really, oh, God, they used to crack me up. He says, Mommy. Sean. Sean. I Sean. <laughs> well, you know what I love when the maid, because he always asked for a snack pack. She said, I'll be your snack pack. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jumper. Jumper, nice. It's these. I bought these for my daughter because these yeah. are like three of her favorite. Now the last one, she's gonna be flipping over. Which, whatever. It was an all right movie. Right. I've not seen it. Eh. Really? It's a pretty good movie. It's pretty you, good. You'd, you'd probably like it. It's actually pretty good. I'm watching Blade right now. I've not seen the Blade series. Can you believe it? Uh, Marvel really? Fan, really? Really? So I'm finally watching. Them. I'm finally sitting down and watching them. Enjoy. You'll like it. Actually, I, I saw half of the first one. It's batshit crazy. Mm hmm. I was like, what the hell am I watching? And then I got the second one on iTunes. They, this, the second one and only the second one on iTunes was like four bucks. I was like, well, let me just get it. Yeah. And I had to get the other ones on, from a different source. Our different source. Well, that way you have all three of them. Yeah. I just need to buy the Blu-rays because I have all my Marvel collection Blu-rays. Yeah. So I need to get those to add. I'm just wondering when we're going to be start, able to get 1984. When we start giving away uh, prizes, I give away a lot of Marvel Blu-rays because I I have so many multiple copies that I bought you know, to try and find my collection. So I'm just wondering Marvel Blu-rays will be coming to people. Has there any been any word on whether they're going to release 1984 anytime soon? No, well, not, not that I've heard a release date. It's usually right before the it, news. It always, out. yeah, it always happens right before the other one. But and now, I, and, because, and remember, because of everything going on, they might drop it this summer. Well, remember, we may we may not get a physical release of this uh, of that show because um, we may have to buy a bootleg because the um, remember FX Network went over to Hulu under Disney, so all of that secondary stuff like Blu-rays and crap. Remember, they stopped doing Blu-rays on American Horror Stories. It went just straight to yeah. you know press DVDs. They may eliminate it all together just for this this year until they figure it out, because that's Disney money now. It's not it's not yeah. FX money. So yeah, uh, kind of sucks. And uh, and then COVID uh, on top of everything sucks. else, it, it all happened. Because I want a physical copy. Buy one of those bootlegs. They, they look they look new. <laughs> they look yeah. real. Okay. <laughs> She's like, you don't get to see my address. <laughs> well, it's, got, it's got a damn label on both sides. Well, I'm right. Packaging. So now we have some foam wrap around it. Yeah. Of course, my husband left with the knife. I want the knife. I want the knife. Oh, it's a smashed box. Lovely. <laughs> Wait. Which which Iron Man is that, Michael? A new one from the uh, PS4 game that's getting ready to come out. Okay. 
Okay. Game reverse. You know how I feel about Iron Man. I love Iron Man. And then this one that I got today, too, is from uh, the comics where he went into space with the Guardians. Apparently, they decided to give me a Chinese toy instead of what I ordered. And now it's been over a year, so I can't read Chinese. Oh, no. Oh, I'm Chinese toy. What is it? Look at this box. Okay, look how dented this box is. Wait, what is it? Oh, no, that's, no, no, that's the real Figma box. That's That's the deal. That's that's what they come in. That that's the same company that does that does these. Well, no, it's but it's all in Asian. Yeah, they they are. That's where they're from. They're from Japan. Those are Japan toys. Those oh. are imported. Well, it says Red Pyramid thing, but it's the pyramid head from Silent Hill too. <laughs> oh, right Red Pyramid thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it says I right here. It says. Red pyramid thing. This one says, <laughs> okay. I'll oh, see. This one doesn't even have. It has Hulk and green, but it doesn't. It, all descriptions are in Japanese. Yeah. And you see what it looks like. Yeah, those those are imported from Japan. Huh. Well, that it wouldn't be worth, be worth the money as a collectible if it wasn't all beat to shit. Still might be worth some money. Especially now, nothing shipping out of Japan. It's full worth, True. but you, you can still get some money for it. Nothing shipping out of Japan right now, and a new Spider Man figure is coming out of there that I collect. I'm like, okay, guys, we got another box. This one's a little bit longer. Oh. That's what he said. <laughs> or she said. Or she said. That's what they said. That's what they all, everybody. That's what I said. All right, we got paper. Oh, everybody needs paper, more paper. paper. More paper. More paper. We are gunned up, man. I think we're finally getting to the goodies. Oh, wait, more paper. Ha, <laughs> oh, guess what? More paper. More paper. Oh, you missed it the other day. What? Hi. Paper. Yeah. I, sent I out. ordered paper. I sent, out. I sent out with, with the gay newspapers from, from around here. So it's like whoever's getting this stuff. <laughs> like, oh, you missed it the other night when we were doing the the unboxing because she had like the bag inside a bag inside a bag inside a bag thing. So crazy. We loved it. it we loved fun. it. It was fun. It was like having one of those nesting dolls, and you never knew what you were gonna get. All right, bubble wrap, bubble it's bubble bubble wrap, Funko bubble wrap. It's a Funko Pop. Uh, it's a Funko pop. pop. Who is it? We have Gage and Church from Pet Cemetery. Okay. Nice. Is that the, the new Pet Cemetery? Is that's that the, the original? original? Oh, that's yeah. the original. Because yeah. the original, original not because in the remake, Ellie's the one who comes Ellie's back the from the dead. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, okay, why are you rewriting the book? The book was fine as it was. Yeah. Like it the, was. They, they wanted they did it because they wanted another perspective, although it didn't. Well, like, no, they, the they did it. No, they did it because they'd already known what, um, what's his name? I can't remember the kid's name. The one who Gage? played Gage. Um, he actually only had a few lines because legally they could only do so much in a few yeah. scenes. Yeah. Most of it was a doll or a double. Uh -huh. It was yeah. a stand-in that they had made. Yeah. Um, well, it's like so they wanted something that seemed well. It was also one of those things where people were like, "Oh, it's kind of creepy, but a baby can't catch me." True. So that's part of why they did it the way they did to try and make it seem more scary. Well, yeah. it's, just like, it's based but on a novel that is written. I saw the told. book and I prefer the original, but that's just yeah. Me. I love the book. Um, but that's like Stephen King's It, the part two. It's like they're going along, following the story fine, and then just make up their own stories that, at the end. That's yeah, awesome. Oh, church. Like he's got the blood and he's got the scalpel. Oh my god! But he's got the scalpel. Yeah, that little, he's all bloody. That, that little sure kid that got to play him was was crazy. He looked like a little. Adult. I'm saying, I can't remember his name. And he grew up and was in a lot of things. He did a lot of stuff acting wise after that. I Some of those facial expressions look like a little midget, a little adult, a little small person, a little adult. <laughs> and you remember he was in Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I always remember Kindergarten Cop because the one little boy with the dark hair, he said, he told him, he said, boys have penises and girls have vaginas. Oh. Yep. Just a disclaimer <laughs> to our viewers out there. I know the M word is sensitive to the small community, 
We just grew up with that word. I'm not racist. I'm a gay man. Sorry. You have to edit what, that out. What word did you say? I said the M word. What M word? Oh. You can't say that word anymore. I know. Yeah. Never you, know what? It's a, you know what? It's all in perspective because I've seen shows where they've done all these shows where some of them prefer to be called that. Some of them prefer yeah. to be called something else. I think it's all just, it's like, it's all perspective. Like my husband is black, but he's not African-American. I mean, I guess if you were to look down his line, possibly, but he's Jamaican. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like people just consider you all if you're black, you're just African-American. Well, yeah. and then people were saying black, but then they went to African-American because it was Negro. And then it was black because the Spanish word for black is Negro. So right. then so then they started switching it up because it was insensitive. And then they're mm -hmm. like, no, we want to be African-Americans. Well, so now all of a sudden, because a group wanted it, every black person's an African-American. So now they want to go back to being black again. And I don't blame them. Like, why wouldn't you? Like, there's yeah, I, so, I stay out there's of it because so I'm not trying to offend anybody. Yeah. Because I'm in a group that, gets, that has offensive terms, too. And it's like, I stay out of it. <laughs> so this is a disclaimer. You know, I'm put it this way. How, about this? How about this? You didn't mean anything negative or derogatory by yeah. it. There's no negative. There's no negative. No negative energy behind what you said. Those no. of us that come from are the '80s our generation. That was the term. Mm -hmm. Bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. My brother would be in heaven. Okay. If All right, I didn't show you the size of the box. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. I bet you there's another Funko Pop in there. Yeah. You think so? Yep. Don, what do you think two, is in here? Two Funko Pops. Um, a double, a double pair. I'm wondering if it's another one of those those sets, like the one you got for uh, The Walking Dead. Oh, okay, like the bobblehead set. Yeah. The what? No, it is not. It is a box. A box it's of a, a box. A box inside of a box. Oh, what is that? Horror Hall. Oh, like a little kind of thing, or Wait, a little is, that the, is that the haunted one? Um, no, this is not our haunted one. Okay. But we have to open this so we can see what's inside. Nice. Well, look what it says oh. right here. You see it? Can you guys see that? Yeah. What? We, oh, red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Have red you guys seen Talk to Sleep yet? Yes. How you is wait it? One? I have it. I haven't watched it yet. How is yeah, it? I liked it. I liked it a lot. You should you should definitely watch it? Because I like you and yeah, Ian McGregor. Yeah. Oh, well, I like we're, talking about the, we're talking about Doctor Sleep. He yeah, oh, out. I want to see it. I I didn't want to be disappointed. I was waiting too for no, somebody guys, to tell me. You guys need to watch it. It's actually really good. Yeah, I have it. Good job with it. All right, I got the plastic off finally. It needs to be boiled. All right. We appreciate I your want, feedback. I want someone Thank you for purchasing a Culture Fly my favorite, product. My favorite Stephen percent King off your first order. Hey, hey. My favorite Stephen King book is Rose Matter, and I want them. To oh make God, it. really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I had the hardest time getting through that. Really? I mean, I, I can see with it. I can see with with women, you know, because of the shelter and all that stuff. But once yeah. they started going into paintings and the whole bull thing, I was I was lost. I was like, okay, what what is going on in this mess? Dude, I read my, that entire I read that entire book in like four days. My, yeah, I, I, well, I I tried. I was I, I've read it, but it took me a while. My favorite is Gerald's Game. All right, are yeah. you guys with me? Oh, such a good book. Yeah. Yep. I'm with you. We have the Exorcist Glow in the Dark mug. Nice. Okay. They put that box inside that other box. Yeah. <laughs> what about taking a space? Well, they want to pad my mug. There's other stuff that, in here, though. Is that one of those those mugs where you pour the the um, the hot liquid into it and it changes colors? No, just the outside glows in the dark. See the image? Ah, okay. Oh, Can you see it? Other way. There you go. Oh, okay. So, like, it'll look like it. The street lamps lit up. That'll look cool. <laughs> You can find your mug in the middle of the night. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a Pennywise vinyl figure from Culture Fly. 
Oh, which one? Yeah, but oh, nice. The new, the new nice. penny. That's Culture Fly, not McFarland or NECA. No, oh, it's Culture Fly. Huh. Nice. How's the face look? How's the sculpt of the face? Not bad. That's, That's good, actually. Yeah. Good. It does look pretty good. And if you look at the paint detail, it's actually really good. Yeah. Paint looks good. I don't McFarland figures. Their paint is a little choppy. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that. That's why they're cheaper, right? Yeah, I guess. There's, Todd right, McFarland's line is huge, though. It's really, really, really popular. I'm like, I don't think they're great. Oh, He's wait, great, though. It's, that, again, because they hold the licensing to certain things that nobody else does. So Yeah, I was all excited for their Harry Potter figures, and I have I have all of them on display in the Wonder Room, but they're like, whew, they're a little rough. All right, look at this, you guys. It's a pillow plush, and it's so soft. I want to rub his Ooh. face all day. Uh -huh. Wow. Don't say. Well, you, why are you guys such a little pillow? What do you do with that? I don't know. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> pillow plush. Maybe it's like kind of like a Funko thing, but just in a pillow form. Maybe they collect them. Yeah, but the detail in this looks really good. I know it looks that? good though. I wouldn't have it, guessed it that that unless yeah, you said it doesn't look like a pillow. Yeah, because it Funko does like plush things like that. So maybe that's what it is. Yeah, they do. It's just another company doing the same thing, just trying to compete. Because, yep. like, yeah. Loot Crate has all of the yep. plush ones and everything. Well, Loot, Loot Crate has NECA now. Loot Crate yeah. was bought by NECA. So they've got all the exclusive action figures in Loot Crate now. Loot Crate just sent me an email tonight. We'll have to do my Loot Crate rant. They have a new Harry Potter uh, box. A Harry Potter uh, apparel. I got, and, that. I got that email. and I'm like, why you ask me to subscribe after my terrible, terrible experience with them? Hey, the only thing I want out of the loot crate box is the uh, the hotel key. Just buy it on eBay. There's a whole bunch of them on eBay or Macari. A ton of them. What is that? Nightmare on Elm Street scarf? Scarf. Oh. oh. Oh, my God. That's, That's almost as good as a sweater. Yeah. Oh. It's time for prime time, bitch. <laughs> I was never a Freddy fan. I, I love like Freddy. Freddy. He's my favorite. I like High Dream five Warriors. Done. High five, Don. I was a, I was a Michael Myers and, uh, and Jason fan. I like the stalkers like that. I like them I all, that. but Freddy, I, I don't know. I think it's because Freddy was the first one I really got into yeah. when I was younger that I saw. What do you yeah. all think of Chucky? I, no. I don't mind. I, I, I like I like where it started. I don't like where it ended. I think it's yeah. dumb as shit. I mean, what, what, this little freaking doll running around killing not everybody. A fan of, not a fan of Chucky at all. No. Um, I my where my heart lies is with the 1930s Universal Plastic Monsters. Yeah, yeah. that's where exactly. my heart lies. I watch all of those at least once a year. See, I was, I've been telling yeah. Mel. Do watch I, want, I I want the sweater and I want the fedora. Really bad. You know they right. make a women a women's like sweater that's more fitted like it, and they have like a sexy dress that's like the sweater. Yeah, they make a whole bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't look really good in fitted. That's you know all of this capitalizing on pop culture geeks now is like the biggest in thing. You think nerds and was we totally out? It's like the biggest money maker in the world now. Nerd yeah. culture. All right. Uh oh! All right, uh -oh. here we go. We got a small package with pandas on it. You guys see pandas? Huh? Pandas. That's from Japan and too. Charlie's project. Okay. Ooh, it's soft. What is it? It's really soft. Ooh, really smooth. It's pants. Oh, there's something else in here. My underwear. I said you want something to check because you never know. Right. I think it's just the tag. Yeah, it's just the tag. Charlie's Project Clothing for a Cause. So somebody Aww. made me for a charity. What was the charity? We'll see how long that box was. <laughs> what is it? You can't really see it. No, I can't see it. It's no. leggings. But who's yeah, on it? leggings. They look like they'd be pretty comfortable. Who, who is that? It's Freddie. King Kong? It's Freddie. Oh, Freddy? Well, all right. Nice. But yeah. Hey, you guys want to see something funny? I just looked at the butt. 
<laughs> and because oh, it's got like it's got like it's guts and know. stuff. It's supposed to look like Freddy gutted you. Is that what it looks like? You know, on your legs. Uh, yeah. Like your your like guts are falling out. It looks look like. At the, look at the butt. You see where the butt is, right? Yeah. Right, on right here. Butt. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And you right see, it's like, like wow. the artery, like the artery yeah. right there at the butt. Uh huh. Like if you had a period. <laughs> no, no. It look. It's like your butt shoots shit out. Look. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Do you see it done? Yeah, I do. It's like the valve or whatever. Your yeah. Are you gonna wear that? We call it your shit shooting pants. My shit shooting pants. Shit shooter. <laughs> shit shooter. <laughs> shit shooter. <laughs> There's the tagline for the show right there. Mel and her shit shooters. Oh Jesus. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right, we have one more box. But we still have one more item after that. But we have one more box. All right. The ball. Oh, that's a big one. What is that? It's a pretty big one. No, it's just a box. It's a box. She hasn't opened it, it yet. Big. Oh, now I'm really happy because I remember ordering this. But this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. A lot bigger. Like it's it's almost the size of this box. I'm intrigued. And of course, it's wrapped in seven layers of bubble wrap. Yeah, they're gonna make you work for it, of course. Right. <laughs> Run time. Oh my god! Please just rip or cut. Do something. What the hell? Okay. I think I got it. Maybe. How are you rating these people on Macari if you're waiting all this time? You do. I just go in and rate them sometimes. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If I already know they're a trusted person and stuff like that, or I know what I'm getting from them. It never fails. I always get late raters. Look, lots. Oh, have... Wow. All right. We have. Just so funny you guys were saying this. A head knocker. Child's play two. Oh, hand gosh. Hand <laughs> head knocker. What, what, is, what is that? It just stands in there and shakes its head? Chucky. No, no, yeah. but what does it do? Look I'm how big this box is. Let's open it. Yeah. I've never been a fan of Chucky. I don't know why. Because it's, just... it's dumb. It's like I have the same feeling about Annabelle. Lots I'm like, of people but, in here. yeah. But what I like about Chucky is at uh, Halloween Horror Nights, when he's up on the balcony giving insults. That's funny shit. Whoever does that is really, really talented. Oh, I want to be careful. I don't want to break his head. Oh, no. sh shabba shoot. He looks like a demonic child. Yeah. I mean, I know I get he that's is. the point, but. Oh God, that's terrible! Oh my God, that's terrible. <laughs> ah! It's he never looks that scary it, in the it looks more like Dennis the Menace going evil. Exactly. No. He never looks like he, he always looks cute, right? no matter what. Look, Don. Look Don. I will oh eat your soul, bitch. Now where are you gonna put that? <laughs> where are you gonna put that crazy thing? In my office with all my other stuff. With all your other goodies. Right. He's missing a finger. Oh, God. Is it supposed to be missing a finger or the thing's broke? It's broke. Oh, shit. <laughs> they sent you a broke item? Well, I should look through the box because it might yeah. be. You'll probably find little pieces. Like, oh. I'm pretty sure you could probably glue it back together. I get these little uh, porcelain Harry Potter figures as a, a subscription club um, for, for the Wand Room, the little characters. And one out of every three is broke when it comes out of the box. I have to call them and get it replaced. All right. We're on a mission now to find Chucky's finger. Let's see. <laughs> if it's in There's there. a lot of paper in here. More paper. Was that a new item or a used item? Um, It was used. Oh, okay. So it might have been broke already. Yeah, I they might have just closed it. Steve, you paid a low price for it. Yeah, I don't see any finger in here. 
Well, that's all right. That I don't gives... see a finger down here. <laughs> it just gives it more character, I guess, because it's missing a finger. Well, Mel can't oh, tell, ask her. It. What happened? It's probably from 1992. It's been too long, Mel. You can't ask them. Where's the finger? Yeah, Where's right. <laughs> I'm like, by the way, I'm missing a finger. finger. So, what did All you right. um, last year? <laughs> what would you do if you opened your box and you found a real finger in there? Um, not um, order a dark web box again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd probably freak out. All right. I'm, I'm looking for the finger because I, I don't know if it fell on the floor just in case. Oh, yeah, huh? I'm surrounded by boxes and paper. Fuck me. Did you oh. start taking pictures of all your, um, your garbage? I did. I did. I did. All the what? All the cards. Um, I'm going to post them, but I'm going to post them. I decided I'm going to post them in, um, in sections, like one at a time, because I'm going to play a game with everybody. I want, I want to see how many everybody can name of off of the cards like what they are what they're what they're representing garbage what, uh, what? oh garbage, garbage. Okay. oh my 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 friend is into that he buys this they're, the new well, they're, all horror. they're all horror oh, garbage horror, tale kids oh, right on it's yeah cool. that'd be fun but yeah so i already started taking pictures and some of them are obvious like dracula the mummy you yeah. know the wolf man stuff like oh, that razor. Well, you say Hellraiser, but somebody, yeah. a younger person might not know it. Oh, my God. You know, I think I have Mel. What? Let me look. Hold on. Because if I, if I have it, I'll send it to you. Like I oh, along with all the other stuff he's sending me. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know. I have a big box, too, that he sent oh. me. <laughs> but he already told me I have to break it up because it's too heavy. <laughs> Mel, I don't think you're going to find the finger. Yeah, I don't think so either. Right now, if it's there. Yeah, I don't think it's here. I think he's just fingerless. <laughs> That's all right. It gives him more character. Finger. Right. All right. So now we have our last item, which is our last one, which it means it must be what? No, hold on. I'll look later because it's, it's in the back of the closet. It's haunted box. Our haunted I item. Thoughts, oh. Michael, you must come back into frame because we're um, doing the haunted I'll look later because it's in the back of the closet, I think. It's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive um, pinhead called Cast in All Gold <gasps> from like 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. oh quite worth the mom. money. Yes. It's, a, it's like a pinhead, um, like Tony Award. Yeah, it's, or a, an it's, Oscar. it's action figure size, like this size, but all gold. In like a little black window box from from Comic Con, Comic Con exclusive from like 1990 something. It's like hell old. Wow. Yeah. I would be ever so so Let me great. Say it's worth a fortune. I'm, sending, I'm not sending you a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> we'll split it. We'll split it. There you go. Um, let's see. Bros before hoes, man. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys ready for the mystery box? Let's no, I, you better not send me no bad juju. I'm telling you oh right now. Oh God! Please tell me it's not a jack in the box. Should I be shaking it? No. no. Shit might explode on you. But please tell me it's not a jack in the box. I hate those things. Ah! <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. All right, let's see what this is. All right. Well, on one side it says, "Do not, not open." Oh no! Put it away. <laughs> oh, if it's a jack in the box, I'm so gonna scream. I feel I, like oh, I should like some stage or something first. Melinda. What? Hold on. Oh, I see it. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. a classic. Look at the price. 80 bucks? Dude. Oh, wow. 80 bucks. Yeah. Is that what it's worth or is that what No, holy it? shit. No, that's the starting. Look. That's the cheap one. 
Wait, I can't read it. Can't see it. Washed out. Go closer. Oh, one seventy nine ninety nine. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We have a room key. <gasps> Two thirty seven. Uh -uh. Yes. Is that from, that's from Comic Con? No. That one from Comic Con. No. Wait, it's from the this shining. Thing? That's from yes, the shining. This is, this is the haunted room key from the shining. Woo! Supposedly, this was a prop. Two twenty-five. Oh, nice! Wow, this was a prop given to someone, and apparently, like a lot of bad things started happening. Their car, um, their brakes went out on their car. Um, they almost died. Their house burned down. They almost died. Um, they lost their pets. Um, their family got sick. All these different kinds of things. Wait, and they're why passing on you? It? Why would you buy that? Well, why wouldn't you? Do you believe it? Yes, I believe it. I live my life by juju. Well, what you put out there comes back to you. So I, if you believe in positive, I believe in the ghosts. I believe in the spirits. I believe in the the demons. We had a doll. We, you know, you know those mannequin heads that that stylists practice hair on. Yeah. My sister was in beauty school. She had this damn doll, and they she shaved all of its head off, or all of its hair off one year, and we called that doll Sinead Debbie, because we, <laughs> we there's a girl in our class. Her name was Debbie. She she wore wigs. She, she had bald hair and Sinead O'Connor. So we called the, this mannequin head Sinead Debbie. That thing was possessed because we went out to Denny's one night and it was in my car. It was in the front seat of my car. We all went out. We all went into the restaurant. Nobody left. We all came back in. Thing was in the back seat. We would send, we would put it to send it to somebody else's house, and the next morning it ended up back in somebody else's house. That thing was evil. So I believe in the spirits. I don't know where it is to this day. Nobody knows where it went. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, right? Yeah. Let's just hope that I'm here tomorrow. Oh, that's not even funny. True that. Just saying, that's not even funny. With the woods behind you, that's like really scary now. It's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like bright and sunshine. Uh, oh, we need some good juju, people. So everybody, that is our mystery box. Let me take the camera off. Right. Let's look Keep one more time. Good juju. good juju. Let's look one more time at our hall. Hey. Yay. There we go. Chucky. Reagan. I'd rather look at Reagan personally, but red pyramid thing. You can look at Iron Man. <laughs> there we go. Iron Man. So thank you guys so much for coming to our unboxing. I had a blast. Um, I'm glad I got to be here with my besties. And I'm glad you guys got to open stuff with me. Um, thank you guys for being here. We'll do it in a second. But thank you guys for being here and for supporting us and our channel. And thank you guys for continuously coming back day after day. Because we do this for you guys. So we do it because of you guys. So thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Now, let's do the wand of the day. This would have been for our coven broadcast today, but. See how plain it is? Just a stick. Whose is that? This is actually, oh, there you go. Tina's, Tina Goldstein, which is the new lead lady, lead lady in the Fantastic Beast story. Newt's like love interest. Oh, and she's okay. very, she's very straight laced and goes by the rules and is very driving her personality. And they created this to support her. There's no flair to it. There's no, and in a world where they're all fancy, she's just. It's just, simple and straight to the point. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. So if I, I, like agree, it. I But it's her. It's very her. I like it. Yep. And that is the end of the day. So that is the end of our show. Yes. Well, Yay. we would love it if you guys would like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell us what your favorite thing down below was that you saw in this uh, mystery box unboxing. The shit shooter. Um, tell me what you <laughs> tell me what you think about my haunted item. Do you think I'm going to have bad juju, or do you think I'm going to be just fine? And then I guess I'll give you guys an update in a week and let you know if I'm fine or not. Lumos, I'm sending you light. Lumos. 
But we have more haunted box unboxings coming up, um, some more haunted ones. And we might even have a dark web box coming soon. Mm. How do you access that? I don't need to access the dark web. Through the onion. Through the onion. What onion? So we will be back tomorrow. The magazine? No. Oh. We will be back on Friday to cover. We'll be back covering Coven again on Friday. La, la, la. Covering Oh, by the way, I just want to say before we go, oh, are we before we go because I because I missed yesterday. Yes. I'm, I'm declaring right now. God, upon this rewatch, I have discovered one thing myself. What? What is that? Lily Reb is my favorite actress. She is the most talented actress in this series. Yeah, the, the most I above know. Jessica, above everybody. Yay. I told you, she's she's yes. brilliant. Uh, she gets so overlooked, and she is the most talented actress on that show. Yes, yes. agree. I we totally, agree a billion percent agree she with you. You did that scene yes. with that with with those guys with the, with the alligators and stuff. It's just, yup. Well, and I was mentioning just the look in her eyes, which she, she see, and that's what I was eyes. talking about God. yesterday. I said because yeah. that was when she came back after she had used resurgence on herself, and she seemed darker. Her makeup is darker. Mm -hmm. Her clothes are darker. Her facial expressions yeah. are like less happy. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, her. going through something like that, yeah. but yeah. With, and we, me and her. Debbie, were talking about coming yeah. out on the other side. You know, a big theme her, and a lot. Yeah. Of her talent yeah. as an actress is she's able to feel. She's she's really feeling this shit. And it's you like, know what it, it, I want to know. I I want to know if Lily does method or not. I, I they, if is she does, it, it's probably known. Uh, we will look it up. Yeah, we'll have to look that up. Yeah, because she's All right, guys, method actors so like to brag about it. Yeah. Obviously, so we will be back to see we'll you guys tomorrow. tomorrow on Friday. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Yay.